この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますはい。This is quite beneficial because the engine will be very usable in the lower RPM range for daily use while still providing good power up top. Now that I know that you guys have an understanding on that, this is where high viscosity oils come in. As you know, engines are engineered from the factory to run a specific oil viscosity. And once you change that oil to higher viscosity oil, In an engine that has variable valve timing, this will lead to cam the cam control operation of the engine to be lethargic in operation and won't provide similar characteristics as to when the specified oil by the manufacturer was used. In saying this, I am not pertaining that、uh, using higher viscosity oils in engines with cam control is bad. But do tread with an air of caution, as this situation may happen if not proceeded with caution in mind, because you may opt for a slightly higher viscosity oil if you are attending track days and want to increase the amount of protection for the engine bearings, pistons, and valves, just to name a few. Because, as we know, that the oil that the manufacturer recommends. Is suited for regular day to day driving and not for high performance applications. I hope that you guys got some value from this video, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so. This way, you won't miss out on any future episodes. If you can, consider supporting the show on Patreon to get bonus content and more.